In society, we have this tendency to always think that I can keep sabotaging myself over and over again. I can keep doing things knowingly that is going to affect my health because I always have my doctor as a last resort. The problem is it doesn't work that way, right? You're always looking for a pill or looking for a treatment to get better, but you invariably are putting yourself in a more diseased position. There's no way in the past of measuring health, right? So if you don't know the state of your health, you know, you don't know how, how, what you need to do to improve it. So the first thing we've done to come up with a scale that you stand on and it actually measures your health, it's called the health index. But when you stand on the scale, we're not just getting your health index, we're getting a lot of unseen information about what's going on inside your body. We're doing it over time, right? Week after week after week, hopefully 5, 10, 15 years. And we have an artificial intelligence back engine that can go back, look at your information, and give you a prediction of what, what's going to happen to you four, five, ten years from now if you're going to continue in this trend. Almost all of us, 98.8% .8 of us, are born genetically absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with us. I call it natal health, right? It's always environmental things. It's the water, the air, and usually the things we put in our mouth that cause our genetic makeup to keep shifting, never for the better, usually for the worse. Usually when I ask someone, where do you go to get better health? They say, I go to my doctor. Wrong, right? Doctors are never trained in health. Doctors are trained in disease, right? The whole medical establishment is based and built around disease, right? And it's very important to know that health is just inversely proportional to disease. 